Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the Quarry Theatre and the garden stage of the Bedford Festival Fringe. The whole point of a Fringe Festival is to give people an opportunity to perform, to try things out, to test things out. I'm not going to say anything more because I know Bedford, you're crazy people. You're a really warm, welcoming audience. So what I want you to do is sort of start sort of pattering your hands like this, like this, and slowly get louder and louder. And welcome to the stage, Rick. In Bedford, how are we? We're all good. Oh, I think I've just about recovered from the River Festival, and now here we are doing Bed Fringe. So, honestly, though, the River Festival was just one of the reasons why I totally fell in love with Bedford, right? But for my sins, I'm living in Milton Keynes at the moment, right? I know, I know. So, when I say it's good to be here, you know I mean it, right? If nothing else, it is just good to have a night off from all those fucking roundabouts. <laughs> Seriously, like, how many do you actually need? Yeah. But I can't. I can't wait to move back to Bedford. But sometimes when I tell people I'm moving back to Bedford, they're like, Bedford? It's a bit shit, isn't it? And I'm like, honestly, is it fuck, mate? Right? The best our local city has got to offer is a handful of concrete cows and a calendar of their fucking roundabouts, yeah? And Luton, do you want to know the best thing about Luton? The A6 to Bedford, quite frankly, yeah? But it is, what's not to love about Bedford? I mean, I mentioned the River Festival, right? Bed Fringe, obviously, fantastic. The embankment, the marinas, all the awesome independent shops. You, you lovely, lovely people. All right, but it's a top night out too, yeah? Hashtag standard, yeah? Rose till close. Oh, oh, and, and we've got a gay bar. Yes, right? And it's proper. Drag acts, cheap drinks, there's dancing all night. Lesbians, don't panic, they've got a pool table. You'll be <laughs> fine, you will, I promise, yeah? But the Barley Mo, it is, it's perfect for your party gay, right? But it's important to remember, and not all gays, right? They're not all party gays, yeah? For every bikini-clad lesbian shaking her maracas at Mardi Gras, right? You've got a handful outside having a kick about, and the rest, they're in a library, wearing cardigans, drinking tea, and discussing the works of Virginia Woolf, right? If they're not trying to work out which label they identify with, right? Because, you know, me, I'm just a good old-fashioned lesbian. I keep things very, very simple. But, you know, there are, there are a lot of labels out there. And it's confusing for those of you who are so woke now that you dare not assume anything about anyone ever again, frankly, right? Which is rude. I spent years perfecting this stereotype and now you're all just ignoring it. It's not helping. It's not. But there are, there are a lot of labels out there, right? When I was growing up, labels, they were like TV channels. You had four, right? <laughs> L-G-B-T. How was your lot? Pick one, because that was all you had, right? 21st century now, and I'm part of a huge community. It is. It's massive, right? So I guess I'm, I'm representing, right, for the L-G-B-T-T-Q... Shit, is it two Qs? Right, no, L-G-B-T-Q... Mr. T. Right, L-G-B-T-T-Q-Q-I-A... Oh, fuck, I knew I'd forget it. Right, L, G, B, T, T, Q, Q, I, A, A, 2, S, P, K. Right, that's, that's, ev that's everyone. Wait, 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 no, it's not, it's not. We've left out the demisexuals, right? Shit, we've forgotten the sapiosexuals. Has anybody checked with the gender non-conforming that they're all okay with queer? Because, I don't know, I feel like we're making assumptions, right? Shit, it's complicated, isn't it? I mean, look, I did my whole arm. Do you know what I mean? My whole arm. I'm going to propose a new one. It's really nice, simple. Three letters, yeah? N, S, P's. Right? Not straight people. It's a lot simpler. <laughs> right? Because that's the important bit, isn't it? Right? We're not a straight. Don't lump us in with you lot, yeah? Don't do it. You see? It's, like it's hard being a gay. Look, so much to remember. Right, and everybody thinks it's just politics and orgies all the time, right? Sometimes it is, at the same time, 
right? Which is awkward because it's bad form to talk to your mouth for, right? <laughs> or mention Brexit, right? Even if it is a hard Brexit, right? Nobody's interested. You can't do it. But you want to know what else is hard? Online dating. Oh, bloody hell. I know it's, it's tough for most people, right? I get that. But seriously, when you have got a face made for sitting on, right? <laughs> Whew. Seriously, it's hard work. All right, Tinder. Tinder can fuck right off, right? With his instant unmatches. Oh, that is brutal. That is literally like a proper kick in the fanny. Just, just <laughs> give it a sec, would you love? Do you know what I mean? <sighs> right? It does, it feels like work, right? You've got to avoid the catfish. You've got to avoid the fake profiles and your spam bots. I'm trying to avoid the couples looking for their unicorn, right? Or a reason to still be together. I don't know, whatever it is, right? But it's, it is it's hard bloody work, right? You've all probably been there, dealt with it. But, you know, I did have a bit of success on one of these dating apps. I did, I was quite chuffed, right? I got three women. Yeah? Right. Feeling quite pleased with myself. Slight problem was, there was only one pair of boobs. Now, I'm not good at this quick maths, right? But there should have been more boobs. That's all I'm saying, right? She hadn't mentioned on her dating profile anywhere at all that she had multiple personalities. I'm not saying you open with it, right? Just drop it in there somewhere. I'd read her profile, because in fairness, she was fit, right? So I actually read it. I mean, I did only read one of them because, well, the photos were all the same. So, you know, <laughs> why bother, right? <laughs> but, you know, that, it, just, it's just, it is it's really, really hard work um, out there. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, to be honest with you. But there are, as I said, a lot of labels, right? And uh, if this alphabet soup right here wasn't enough for you, right? Then you've got a past lesbian 101. Right, you don't want to be an unqualified lesbian, right? First up, you've got to decide what kind of lesbian you're going to be. Right? Are you a femme or a lipstick lesbian? Maybe you're a chapstick lesbian. Maybe you're a bit more on the butch side of things, yeah? Maybe a soft butch or a tomboy or a boy with an eye, right? Don't feel <laughs> limited, right? Don't feel limited by the selection I've offered you. We have plenty. But do you want to know what my favourite label is, right? And it is, it's one of my favourites, right? I am a gold star lesbian. Ooh, yeah? Sounds good, doesn't it? Right? Yeah, see? Look, round of applause, gold star. Right, do you want to know what it means? Quite simply, all it means is that I am untainted by cock. <laughs> right? No deep for me. No, thank you. No, thank you. I have never freed Willie. It's just, it's not happened, right? But I'm going to tell you something now, right, that may damage my aforementioned lesbian superiority. Because obviously that makes me a superior lesbian. You know, or a virgin. I mean, it's all a matter of perspective. It's entirely on your perspective, I guess. Right, but I did once, I did once have a moment with a man. Right? I wouldn't call it an intimate moment. Right? I was about halfway through wanking him off when I was like, is this it? Right, and bless him, bless his cottons, he did seem a tad embarrassed to admit that, yeah, Actually, that's great. Cheers, right? And I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been surprised because somebody did tell me once that if I could use a crayon, I could make a penis happy, right? <laughs> and that person was not wrong. Thank you very much, Bedford. I've been Riggs. You can find me on Facebook or Tinder, obviously. Cheers.